I have gained valuable knowledge from this course throughout the semester that I will be able to incorporate into my future nursing career. As a nurse, I will use evidence-based practice and implement the nursing plan daily. This will include assessing my patient, recognizing a diagnosis, developing a plan of care, fulfilling this plan, and evaluating how the plan is working for my patient. I will not only focus on these medical aspects, but will also think holistically so that my patient can reach an optimal level of healing. For example, faith may play an important part in my patient's life, so it is my job to honor and respect that. I will genuinely care for my patient and place any inner judgments aside. It is important to recognize these inner judgments so that they can be managed. This way, each of my patients will receive equal treatment regardless of the situation. As a nurse, it is my responsibility to speak up if I notice an unsafe circumstance. Although this may not be an easy thing to do, it is the right thing to do. I will be an advocate for my patients as their voice is not always heard. I will notice the health literacy of my patient and help them to understand a procedure, diagnosis, or whatever it is they are unclear on. I will strive to be assertive with my coworkers rather than passive or aggressive. For example, if a fellow nurse asks me to work a weekend shift that I am scheduled to be off and I have already made plans, it is okay to be honest and upfront by communicating this. Being assertive will help me gain respect among my coworkers rather than just get it taken advantage of. Using I statements is another aspect of communication I would like to strive for. This is better than starting off a sentence with you because it's, then it seems like blame is being placed on that person. For example, saying, I feel like I am being taken advantage of because I am a newly employed nurse and I would like to receive fair treatment is a better approach than saying, you are taking advantage of me because I am new. When communicating with my patient, I will use active listening. This includes not interrupting them and focusing on what they are saying rather than just thinking about what I want to say next. To make sure I understand what my patient has expressed to me, I will restate what they said back to them for clarification. I will also remember that it is not always necessary to have constant conversation with my patient because silence can be important for reflecting on what has been said. One thing that will be key throughout my nursing career is to remain calm. No matter how shaky or nervous I feel, it is important to stay composed so that I do not make my patient or their family more upset or worried. I realize that I will have very busy days as a nurse and it will be necessary to delegate. It is imperative to ensure that whatever tasks I delegate are within that person's scope of practice. As a nurse, I will be involved in teamwork daily. It is important to use interpersonal communication skills with my colleagues to maintain a safe environment for the patients. Collaboration is another important part of teamwork. For example, if I am in a meeting with fellow nurses and doctors and I do not necessarily agree with the decision that has been made, it is my job to speak up rather than remain passive and go along with what is being said. Participating in simulations throughout nursing school will help build my teamwork skills. Simulations also allow me to practice in a safe environment where it is okay to make mistakes. At some point, I may have to serve as a mediator to resolve conflict, whether it be with patients, families, or my colleagues. During conflict, it is important to not take things personally that might be said to me. It is also important to keep conversations private. For example, if my patient has a roommate and there is conflict occurring, it is important to discuss this privately with the patient. Having an audience only escalates the situation. To avoid errors, I will resist multitasking and avoid distractions. I will also double check all that I do. For example, I will make sure the IV I am administering is the correct medication as well as the correct dosage. Lastly, it is essential to remember to take care of my own health. It is easy to get caught up in taking care of everyone else and lose track of my own health along the way. Setting aside time to eat healthy meals and snacks, as well as getting enough sleep will keep me energized and ready to provide my patient with the best care possible.